Hello YouTube, I hope you're ready to join me on this journey. And this is Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So it's all upscaled to 4K, it's all pretty, all the DLCs are included. We're starting at number one. What I did? What happened was, I captured the launcher. Not the actual game, but let's not worry about that. Okay, what's next? Achievements, options, okay. Okay, we are going, since this is a series playthrough, normal. Yeah, there's casual, normal, veteran, hardcore, and insanity. Normal. Level scaling, we're doing... We're actually going to use legendary mode. One to six. Classic mode, the original one. Of the new level, one to thirty. Number of levels is doubled. We'll just do legendary mode. Squad power use. Subtitles, on. Uh, graphics, yep. Borderless. Motion blur is off. V-Sync is on. Because I'd rather it run smoothly and it'd be a good experience for everyone than me trying to futz with like, yeah, I could run this at 240. But I only have a 60 hertz monitor, so there'd literally be no point. Hey, hey, Akira. How's it going? Film grain's off, just because I find it annoying. Anti, oh, you know, gotta look, and... Ambient occlusion. Yeah. And of course, dynamic shadows. I know, and a lot of people would wonder, like, you know, I've got a pretty beastly system. It's like, oh, why don't you gra get like a 144 hertz monitor? Now, I'd love to do that. You know how expensive those sons of bitches are? Not currently in my budget. Okay, calibration, sound. Everything sound looks good on my end. Okay, already adjusted. Okay, and we are starting a new career. Mass Effect 1. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Hi. Classified information requested. Oh my. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. But how's it going, Akira? Uh, oh, John and Jane. Jane Shepard. No ID. Uh, and crank it up to 14040 and keep it at 60? Yeah, I could, but at the same time, it's a lot easier for scaling for, like I have a 4K monitor. Like I could put it at 1440p, but also, it may, but it makes recording and streaming a bit, a bit more of a pain in the ass. But we'll, do, uh, we will be going through the three games as Femshep, because I think Jennifer Hale is an amazing voice actress, and I enjoyed their voice lines more. But we'll be doing custom. Please log in to access your profile. Uh, Warning, data corruption detected. Ah, wonderful. Please reconstruct profile. Okay. Confirm pre-service history. Please log in to access your profile. How do I... Oh, there we go. Okay. We need a good name for sh uh, female shepherd. You know what? I could go with radio. It is a fairly gender neutral name. Hmm. Radio. Yep. You know what? Yep. Because radio is completely gender neutral. There we go. 
Hostess with the mostess, absolutely. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Okay. Confirm pre-service history. Uh, let's see. Spacer. Colonist or an Earthborn. Hmm. <laughs> Earthborn. Confirm psychological profile. War hero. Ruthless. War hero. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Confirm military specialization. Oh, wait. I'm trying to remember there was a really good combo, like literally, I think, uh, what did Scarlet say? We were talking about this uh, off stream. Uh, I think it was Vanguard with, Vanguard with shotgun. And I'm just trying to remember, uh, the second game is when you get the, uh, I just call that the Superman explosion where you dive in explode and everything dies adapter biotic okay yeah biotics only engineer I think it was Vanguard is Vanguard the one with the shield I think I think any uh, single one can have a shield. I think it's dependent on equipment. But yeah, Confirm Vanguard. facial identification. Oh my god, her eyes terrified me. <laughs> Change. All right. Okay, I will say one thing. There we go. I do like the idea of the redhead. Okay. I was gonna say, what the fuck's the difference? I've only, I only played Mass Effect 3. That is half Psy Powers, half Running Gun. Don't recall which one it is. Yeah, uh, kind of like that one. He's scarred up to fuck. Ooh, damn. I am ruthless. Hmm. Ooh, that, that's a nasty fucking scar. You know, yeah, I, I like the eyebrow and the chin scar. That looks good. <laughs> I'm not going to create a monster because I'm going to be using this character through three games. Oh, jeez. The closest the game has ever had to uh, the Avatar's uh, skin tone and complexion. 
Not quite, though. Wait, red? I look like a fucking tiefling. Hair can influence your choice of face or the body due to a lot of frame. You are not wrong. Like, I could just go like basic gray, but no, uh. Yeah, got a bit of hard lines. Head. <laughs> no, she quit. Yeah, we'll give her some pronounced cheekbones. She gone? Oh. No, that just makes you look, you know, like you're dying. Ears orientation. Those are fine. Ooh, gray eyes. What do you think? Cheek be gaunt. All right, should I give her some like gray eyes or like, cause that. Hmm. I like the idea of like steely gray eyes. I'll bring her chin down just a bit. Gonna be really muted in game. <laughs> that was horrifying. You know, I think that, I think, uh, There we go. Nose is fine. You know what? We're good. Profile reconstruction complete. You know, yeah. Earthbound, ruthless, and I'm a vanguard. Identification confirmed. Uh, these are all. Hard mode? What do you mean in terms of combat difficulty? Go what? Go full insanity? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, total. It, it, you know, a game I haven't played for a decade. Let's jump right into insanity. Insanity. Nah, let's go casual. I'm totally not the person who, who if they ever decide to play The Witcher 3 on stream, it's gonna be on Death March. Oh, nah, veteran, actually I can agree with that. But what is, biggest thing is I don't know the difference between legend, it's one to 30, it's like, okay, I'll go for that. Yeah, insanity sounds. We love chapter one so much. Nah, I'll do veteran. But yeah, I'm comfortable enough with third person games. I think veteran's okay. Hell, I played through Yakuza, through all of the Yakuza series well, on hard what about mode. Shepherd, Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. 
learned to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Mass Effect. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Tiny bit loud. Transmission sequence. Commander. Yeah, there we go. I just had to turn down the system sound slightly. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Time for the Neom. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Zoom. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. Hey. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Thank you. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, <laughs> specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Uh... They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach East Prime. Gotcha. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Alright. I'm just seeing how it feels. Yeah, that turning radius is a little weird. Loading turns. Yeah, it worked. Okay, I need to. Oh, I have three points already. Okay. Weapon damage by by melee damage. Uh, am I really getting in there? Uh. 
and also this will obviously be a well I'm gonna put one end of that and one end of charm I I why do I already have like renegade Oh, I guess it's because I'm ruthless or whatever. What do we want? And... You know what? Okay. Spoiler, X's grenade. Medi gel deployed. Okay. Huddle up. Overreach. Oh, I see. Wait, how do I? How do I put my shit away? weapon eight okay your issue congratulations commander looks like we had a smooth run you heading down to see the captain sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest sorry commander just having a chat with Adams down in engineering and didn't mean to cause any trouble but you have to admit something's odd about this mission the whole crew feels it I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him good luck commander in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy movies, Jenkins. <laughs> what do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Let's start with... What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well-respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. 
I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. You are, uh, just... Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. Yeah. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah. Your shirt's blue, but you're basically a fucking red shirt. Congratulations. What's up? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. Yeah, about this fucking time. Is far more than a simple shakedown run. Oh, that's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Protheans. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. All this right. is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Huh. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Ah. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. All right, cool. Let's do this. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. All right. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Uh. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. 
There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. Just right. give the word, Captain. All right, let's we do should it. be getting close to Eden. Prime. Captain, we got a problem. Oh fuck! What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Oh shit! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Oh boy! Master Hand is angry. After that, no calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the thirty-eight point five. What the fuck? Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Just a fucking pad. Small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Let's go. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. All right. That yeah, that is literally the epitome of bad touch. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. All right. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Okay. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles. All right. Oh. Little floating gas bags. They look adorable. Not shooting it. Oh god. What happened here? Uh Oh. Okay, I want you on pistol. You know, yeah, pistol assault rifle, I got the shotgun. Oh, that's how you... How'd you do... In fact, I don't know how to, uh... Pulser is still annoying me. GG. Rip right 
machines or have a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, Madam. Yep. In case you're running, I'm. Um, no. At least I know how to find freaking put my stuff away. Confirmed. All right, nothing broken through my shield. I will say, fuck me, this game looks pretty. Oh shit, get down, get down, get down. Hey, good on you. No problem. Okay. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. Isn't that we the racist tried to get space off a distress call, I'm not sure. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. 
We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Okay. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Let's go. Move out! Okay, got a bit more prepared. Uh, I'll give you that, and I'll give you salt rifts. Upgrade kit. Give me. Better period. Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna be using the uh, pistol a bunch, so uh, uh. And you know, I'll give you the anti person arms. Of course, the person I'm going to be using the most on is myself because, you know, I'm. Ooh, yeah, this was geez, fucking brutal. I fucked up. Damn it. Oh, what the? God damn it. Wow, did it literally not? That was just impressively dumb. Huh. 
Okay, here we go. For some reason, my melee didn't go off last time. I'll investigate that in just a second. Shit, I didn't even look. Eh, no big deal. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. God! I'm so used to reloading with X, it's literally instinct. I'm. Uh. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Speaks the quality of the corpse that you got to Commander. <laughs> oh They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Owie. Yeah, I have to remember, I just have to reload. I just have to let it. I want to loot the bodies. Great kit. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. I might as well put that up three. Makes sense. The hand was from a big. I'll do automatic for them. And I, I'm going to keep my helmet off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'll take some more Omni Gel. I see. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. 
You're safe. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? <laughs> Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. Uh, I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Uh. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. <laughs> okay. Got it. I got that. Oh, hey, Niles. Saren. Ah, uh, hello. Niles. <laughs> this isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Boom. That's a loud ass pistol. <sighs> How dare you, Saren? Boom. Oh, I literally didn't even see. Okay. I I'm just getting used to like using biotic powers and all that. Okay, I don't have to tap, I can press it. Commander, it's Nihilus. Jeez. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you, I'm human. 
What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? Uh, the other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. Mothership? They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Oh. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. Ah. Huh. You survived because you're lazy? Lucky break. If you snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. And we wouldn't yeah. have any of the info. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Ship. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Okay. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay. Not to sound callous, but we also need supplies. Oh, shit. What the fuck are you shooting at? Oh. Okay. Okay, I mapped it. Where are you shooting? You can...
There we go. Yeah, I will say that. Keep your head down. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Slowly getting used to these kind of weird floaty controls. I'm seeing if there's anything else I could loot. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Oop. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Working on it. I gotta get over there. Shit, radar jam. Good, cover my back, cover my back. Got it. Uh, 
Okay. Bonk. Bonk. <sighs> All right. I was gonna say, where's the fucking crate? Thank you, thank you. I will look into that in a moment. you I'm not going near that yet cuz give me that anything up here nope Check over here, cause you know, loot. All right. Before we do that, I'll be right back. Just need to use the washroom quick. There we go. All right. Hogan Curry. Hey, she can actually wear medium armor. We'll hold off on that. All right, let's do an investigate. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh, shit.
Check. Go. No, don't touch it. It's too Ooh, boy. <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. This human must be eliminated. Oh boy. Everything Doctor, hurts. Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh I'm okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Uh, oh. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. What's up? How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Hooray. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. Mm -hmm. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? 
Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. <laughs> we need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that vision. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. Mm. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Gotcha. All right, cool. Well, I don't vomit. Just checking everything. Yeah. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yeah, let's start here. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. Did a motherfucker went too far shakedown, ahead? Cruz. Our first mission ends with one specter killing another. The Citadel Council is not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're unrestricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. He made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right. Torfin. What a messy business. Imagine that bought you a new post in the fleet. <laughs> Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. All right. Hey, yes, Doc. Commander. Is there something you need? Uh. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I'll check in with Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Yep. Part of me good feels red shirt. over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Hey, holding up. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. You helped. have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Fish and mail. Glad to have you. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Oh. I'll take those. <laughs> Normandy does look really fucking cool. ME 2s uh, Normandy is just 
That, it looks so much better though. I'll say that much. You're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins is hard enough. I guess I have to. Can't really open the. Uh... All right. I wonder where the where Queen is or where Skull is. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? <laughs> I'm saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. <laughs> Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. <laughs> they were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. <laughs> the mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Fuck you, That's dude. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Thanks. And that's why I hate politicians. Okay.
in fact. Nobody saw that. I will say, I do love the aesthetics of their fucking lamps, though. Oh. I was gonna say, nope, we're... Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. Hey. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. Goodbye, ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. <laughs> Pleased greeting. greeting. You. Human, it is always good to it's see your you. kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Oh. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our way. Yes, I do. That's the interesting. Response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Uh, let's go with history. I'm actually interested. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Culture. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Thank you. Alright, what's your issue? Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, didn't you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Oh, yeah. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say... She has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Thank you. I fucking love Elcor. Okay.
Okay, I can't go in there. Oh, excuse me. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Moment. I'm looking around. Hi. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. Hey. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I'll do my best. God damn it. Okay. I don't mean to, I literally don't mean to keep whipping out my gun. Academy. Yum. That should just be on the other side, I think. <laughs> Damn, son. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Okay. I will not. Um, all the way over here. Where you um... Alright, I'll take the long way around. I'm just curious, like, I'm looking for loot. I want to go talk to the consort. Hey. Any little bit of extra money and shit I can get and experience. Especially early game. I'm covering up the mini-map, but I'm pretty sure y'all aren't exactly fussed about that. <laughs> oh. Or... It should be bank. Huh. By Levon. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Have we met? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn, 
My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. <laughs> Our move. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. Hmm. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Thank you. Okay. Emporium Shopkeeper. Okay. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Okay. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. Oh. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, what do we got? Uh, it's a pack. Armor pierced crown and a shield regenerator. Huh. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Okay. You will not be disappointed. Jesus. Sorry, I just saw the price. Huh. Uh... I'll need that later, I have a feeling. It's a license so I can get more shit, I think. Here. Oh, more keepers. The Emporium. Right. I need to go to the consort chambers. I want to know why that Elcor was freaking out. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. 
Melina. Hmm? Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Oh. Yes, of course, mistress. Okay. Sorry, huh. what? I got distracted. The consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Sorry, I get distracted by uh, booty. I mean, what? Huh. Sup? All right, what's going on? Do you have like a view up here? Hey, what's up? That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Who are you? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Uh, sure, what's up? Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Hmm. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Sure. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Hmm. Now what? I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Sure. Uh, or awards. Okay, sure. Why not? Let's. I want to get as much XP. Okay, my charm. Okay. Let's see. Orium. Well. Excuse me. You know what? I actually think I need to do some of the story to unlock more shit. Oh. Hey. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Hey, Garrus. Commander Shepard. Garrus Vakarin. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. One of the most... Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Uh, one of the most legendary characters in this fucking series.
Okay, I just wanted to get that. I'll be doing the wards access after this. Oh boy. Up. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgments must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Wonderful. Mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Hmm. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You hey. won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'm on take it. Take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the ward. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need it. Oh, okay. X is how you do it. Skip. I won't be doing that that often. It was just... Okay, we need to go to Chora's Den. I forget. Is there a little mini games in this? Uh, 
Oh, perfect. I guess because we know about it now, it allows us to go. A gentleman's club. That's her. What the fuck? Uh. This is called the big old bout of fuck you. Oh my god. <sighs> he was just out of range of my fucking melee. God damn it. Oh. oh, sorry, what? What's up, General? Commander. What do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. The lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be so what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. If she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there. Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. You will exonerate Shaira and convince him. 
Okay. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. <laughs> well, used to soldiers acting like soldiers. Cheers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. <laughs> Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's head back up. I just want to take care of this before I continue. Get some extra XP, get some loot. Uh, back to the embassies. Talk to, uh, talk to the Alcor, then go talk to the consort. This is the little RPG stuff that I fucking adore. I know people are like, oh, it's boring. No, it's called world building. Hey, Zeltan. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus. And he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Hey. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. <laughs> if the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. He'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. <laughs> Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. Goodbye. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you Bunk. did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Fuck you. Apologetic. Do not listen to my voice when you say it. <laughs> I did something nice. Or the the bowl is just the fucking internet. You cannot do anything nice. Uh, Sidium consort, take care of that. Then we head back to Chora's den. I just I'm trying to remember. Uh, is there any little mini games like Pazak or anything in this? Hey, I got some good news for you. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Glad to help. It is my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else. But it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well. Terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Okay. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Very soon. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. 
Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. <laughs> in light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Oh. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. Okay. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Thank you. Remember my words, Commander. Shepard. Oof. They will give you strength. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hold off on leveling until I actually become a specter. Because I believe that unlocks like a bunch of good shit. Now we go back to Chora's Den. Would you believe I've never actually been to a strip club or a gentleman's club for that matter? I know, shocking. back I just need to use the washroom I have returned I told you could help me find someone. A Turian C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. Eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did Captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. 
But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> what the fuck? You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Will do. Hey, what's up? The back rooms are private. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Goodbye. Okay. Enjoy the club. Every time I hear Krogan speak, all I can think is fucking Arkolf. Actually, I'm just going to send a quick tweet out. All right, here we go. Oh, cool. I can get like a fucking lap dance. famous shop you want many good supplies yes let me see what you have oh you will be pleased I think very good things I have you will see the standard items uh, I'm a little bit low so I'll grab that oh uh, and Oh, nope. I can't afford that. The Warlord 5. Cool. It's kind of like a small little bazaar. Neat. Conrad Werner. Okay. You're Commander Shepard. The hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Uh, who are you? Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. Eesh. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Uh. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Uh, no. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I am not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. 
far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. What the fuck was that? Uh, okay. It felt like he was trying to pull me into something sketchy. Oh, hey, what's up? Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Uh, yes. Show please. me what you got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Oh, sure. Okay, so meta gel. So. And I want all these licenses. I don't think the bot gets it. I don't sell any bots. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This is uh. life. Now, are you going to give me a refund or not? No. Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no. I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. Uh. Do you have a receipt or proof? <laughs> That's why, like, honestly, a lot of nowadays, a lot of places will email you your receipt. Like, if you ask them to. Just so it, you also, you. You know, have a digital. I didn't tell anyone. I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or we. Who are you? Let her go. Oh. What's up? Use pro on you. Use overkill. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You can't use it under cover. Give me a second. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. You're ticking down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. Oh. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. She go. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Ah, wonderful. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. <laughs> that Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She oh must boy. She linked Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. 
You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. <laughs> yeah, we saw him in the bar. The Krogan might come in handy. Yeah. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. <laughs> hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Yeah. Move out. All right. Uh, I'm going to bring you and just because her combat strength is fucking ridiculous. And of course, I got to bring the legendary blue boy. Now that we're getting the characters I actually give a shit about. Okay. Because, yeah, he's basically going to be my long-range fucking guy. Mass Effect, whenever you made a difference, you just get the fuck out of here, human normie. Well, it's more like... She's... <sighs> Ashley's useful, just they're strong in combat, and I'm already kind of the biotic person, so Caden is kind of fucking useless. Okay. I'm gonna give him three of those. Put his decryption up to there. Redundancy, exactly. But if I can, you know. Okay, here we go. Sidium location. Uh, we want the embassies because they were closest to CSEC. Also, let's be honest. Anyone and everyone who's played this game generally fucking loves Garrus. Okay, that's where I gotta go. And for me personally, I fucking love Rex. Just the absolute fucking meat wall with a shotgun. Or an assault rifle. Or a... Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. Oh. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my okay. time liaising between the two. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, this is just the headquarters. That's a little bit. 
guess it's gotta be in the words. Alright. My bad. Don't believe the rumors. The consulate would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd toss up the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. Huh. She's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. <laughs> Is that all you did, Jack? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! Ah, what do you want? Oh, Commander. Wow. Is there something I could do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. So nice fucking okay, hairstyle. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here. You never went to see her, did you? <laughs> no, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from Okay, the okay. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Oh. Oh, it's just the embassy lounge. Look, you can have Franciscans in space. Oh, there's CSEC. Okay. CSEC Academy. Thank you. This elevator. Hey. And I, I love that. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime. Zoom. Support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. All right. There we go. All right. Fresh skins are ball top with the rim of hair clergy. Oh, I always just called them Friar Tux. I didn't know there was an actual like. Oh. <laughs> Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from here. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. Uh, Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a say. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Who is so, his VO? I hate to keep Fist waiting. It just I Yeah, bye. Look at that. All right.
I just want fucking Rex to just be an absolute fucking wall. You know what? I'll level up. But now... Actually... Okay. I want to give him the better... Oh, I got a second scimitar too? Fuck yeah. It's how it's I have to realize okay. Uh I want the better pistol. Uh, you a bit more DPS. Okay, we'll go for that. Alright, you're gonna be my main. Okay, you've got the better one. Give you the 83. Give you the Reaper 2. And. you the silver back and his current stuff is already better oh wait uh i'll give you, i'll give you the hardening i'll be nice Now we go to... Oh, I... Okay, so I have no... Mo uh, gun mods. Sniper rifle, armor piercing. There we go. All right. Sorry. Bear right back. Hello, YouTube. Don't worry. You didn't miss anything. Okay. I think I need to go to the galaxy map. I want to zoom out, not exit. Okay. Okay. I'm in the right system. Also, Athens. Let's check Macedon. I don't remember where Dr. Liara is, to be completely honest. 
Dardilla, Coroline. Well, we'll start here. Huh. Cool. Okay. Matriarch's writing. Alright, we got another place to land. Yeah, it worked. Whee! Please tell me I don't have to fight another Thresher Maw. Ow. I appreciate not having to do that. Got debris, stronghold, and an anomaly. Whoops, was just grabbing my in flight snack. All good. Welcome back. I'm just going over this debris. It says there's a stronghold here. Now there's unassorted nuts everywhere. No! You have to control your nuts. need to get my first aid up to seven. Okay. But how's your day going, Akira? Smash, bash, bash. Okay. Okay. There we go. All 
right. Good. Okay. Wait a second. Roll up and go. Roll up. There we go. Turn it around. Fucking A. There we go. What? Oh. I'm just going straight for it because I don't want to lose out on all that XP I just had. Alright, yeah, let's try it again.
Okay, even I'm impressed with my fucking aim there. Save this time. The stronghold, so. Got him. Ah, yes, Commander Radio. Yes, Akko. No, Commander. No, this is still Commander Shepard. Radio is gender neutral. Report to the ship ASAP. Full bang, okay. Absolutely. Can't get much more iconic. Holy. Good to go. 
There we go. I was on my natal city. I finished stuff. Money to get the Yakuza bundle and seeing him. KFC. I went to the local restaurant. Figure my money. Around there. That's adorable. Sorry if I. That's adorable. And a friend gifted you Kwame 2 and Yakuza 6? Fucking A, man. You are killing it currently. Fucker. Getting married? Where are we guys going? Three months? Oh, that seems a bit quick. Ooh, got him. Negative contact. But yeah, hey. If they're ready, all, all the power to them. Get on them. But yeah, like you, I'm just like, ooh, that seems a little bit fast. But then again, I am someone who does not do relationships. So, hey. Get on them. Okay. Oh, excellent. And I'm gonna put a couple of in the warp. Today, as long as they're in a solid relationship and they're not being tricked or anything. Encryption. Damn it. Sorry. Ah, I do not have the description skills. Does anybody have? Oh. Okay, I'll have to bring Garrus on because he'll be decryption and electronics. Hey, oh, hey, Akko, you want to hear something really cool? So, uh... That I'm still actually kind of jazzed about? Uh, the last couple... That was... That was a great... 
go to the city and does your friend consider the pandemic to be over? To go, yeah. That's... Holy shit, Akko. Thank you. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise, Praise the sub. Thank you, Akko. I really do appreciate that. Is three months in a post-pandemic scenario, Kendra? And with your work, hey. You will never have to pay to watch my streams. I will, I am so appreciative. Thank you for subscribing. It, it actually does mean a lot. And uh, you'll be happy to know pretty soon I'll be, uh, I'll have emotes and uh, after those are done, I'll probably be getting su subscription badges. I am no commander. I am merely your humble host. Of course I'm going to get Ishin. I will say that much, yes. Because it's coming out with, you know, English subs. And, you know, of course I'm going to get and play that. I'm just looking forward to it. It looks good. It looks interesting. I'm hyped. If I want to catch that tuna in Yakuza 3. Who knows? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Oh, hey, what we got here? Sorry, capsule. Jeez. Ah, shh. Okay, got it. Ah, uh, cool. But yeah. Turn to the Normandy. Already went to that one. But as I was saying, you'll be happy to know I will actually be getting subscript uh subscriber uh uh badges soon. What topic? Uh, oh, for subscriber badges? I'm going to be... If you look uh, at my channel points, it's Vinyl Records. And uh, I'm just going to do slowly increasing like uh, Vinyl Records. And Proteus Free Oxygen Telemus
Okay, I've been. This is the only one I haven't been to. But. Armini. There. That gross. I'll check that in just a second. Journal. Charter worlds of close to friendly are well, there's only one left. So it's gotta be Therum. <sighs> but on a cool note. Actually, I'm gonna bring uh, Tali. Tali. Oh, oh no, you can't toggle the helmet off. Oh shit. I'm gonna give. Oh yeah, that's handy. The helmet stays on during sex. Yes. Rex. Shepard. I'm just giving her a bit of an upgrade. There we go. Rex is the type of guy I would invite to a bar just to go through. Oh, absolutely. I've got lots of stories for you. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay. Ah, excellent. So glad he is having trouble right now. They fuck close by where in visceral game. But Dead Space. Uh, Dead Space is also getting a complete uh, re release. So there's that. 
I don't know if from the same devs. Who made Dead Space? Was it Arcane? Visceral. For some reason, I thought it was Arcane, but no, that they're the Dishonored people. And of course, that's how Electronic Arts works. Unfortunately, as I play this via EA Play, that are going to be affected. Well, that's the way it is with any game dev cycle. Once you get back from the H2O, I have a story. Well. Oh shit. Woo! We're gonna be fucking Screaming through the XP with this. I just gotta be fucking careful. Please drop some more of those so I can shoot them. I'm just trying to be extremely fucking careful. We're going to level up pretty quick. Ooh. Oh, shit, didn't even mean to do that. Damn. That works. Ooh. Give it all. Give it all to me. Uh. 
There we go. Wow, I'm impressed you fucking survived that. Let's go with advanced warp. Some salt training. And one into specter training. You can do what you want. All right, I will. All right, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, big stretchy. And just so you can hear it. <sniffs> Hydration complete. All right, I'm gonna bump up electronics. As I was saying, the neat thing I wanted to tell you was, uh, I actually had a dev for this game, uh, in the stream the other day. It was so interesting to hear about all the little things that, like, fuck with it. Music Shepherd listen to. Woof. Owie. There we go. Well, doing good for a little bit. A little bit more saving. The fuck? Oh boy. Ah. 
<laughs> Through the smoke, bitch. Not gonna lie, that makes you feel like an absolute fucking badass. Ow. What it? Dead? No! We Yep. Okay. I think I love to send my mail for you because of four to do. <laughs> that is cursed as fuck. <laughs> but in a good way, in a good way. I need Tanamora. Dude was not going to allow me to eat. Allowed that on the thumbnail. Yeah, no, no, no. He thinks they they would not. Right, let's check over here first, because there's obviously going to be loot or something over here. Well, I would think so, at least. Got it. Goosey characters are cursed by just smiling. You're not wrong. You're not fucking wrong. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, I was like, I want to make sure I'm going the right way. Oop. Dodged it. We got someone picking over. How you doing? Boop. How you doing? How's your family? I 
felt the need to keeping Dago. Uh, because a lot of people would probably only accept a Dojima as head of the clan. Like, because remember, like, it originally was the Dojima family. Love when a plan comes together. Kitty is his father. Yeah. Well, because he always saw it as, you know, Sohei was just, you know, happened to be the person who at, was there for his genetic material. Kitty was the one who they established, like, helped basically take care of the kid. I think we're good, Commander. Because they were closer in age, he saw Kitty was way more of a father figure. Because he was, well, because he was, he also saw a lot in uh, Daigo. Like, he didn't just see him as a punk kid. That was the biggest thing. Like, it wasn't just the fact he was a, do he was, you know, uh, like a Dojima. It was the fact he, you know.
Fucking hell, finally. Sons of bitches. Fucking. Gotcha. Sabotage is extremely useful against synthetics. Oh boy. Ali, get thank you. Oh shit, no, no, get up there. I'm about to die. Oh shit.
God damn it. Fuck you! Well. Oh, fuck! Seriously? I help here's what I say, fuck you to a bigger villain. That's... Oh wow, Tali, really? Instantly fucking nuked. I thought I was getting shot from behind for a sec. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Oh, for fuck! Oh my god, seriously? Okay. 
Okay, good. Grass up. I will, I will. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ah, oh, okay. Shit, that would have been a one shot. Sabotage. Warp. Thanks, Marksman. me I'm glad they got stuck back there oh wait nope
<laughs> oh, it's just like, nope, I am nuking you. Okay. Okay. I'll have a... I'll take that. And... Okay, I'll be going through that after I finish this mission, because holy fuck. Try that again. Fucking hell. Spoiler, that fucking hurt. And I still remember that his every enemy called that camo pretty face. Crazy squad. He held Arthur pretty boy. Well. He got pissed. Arthur, Red Dead Redemption 2, right?
Well, basically, I'm pretty sure Arthur took that as, like, you know, pretty boy, not a hard-working person. It's, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to play Red Dead, so I don't care. Like, I already know the big plot twists. They're basic. They basically just calling him a pussy. save here actually proceed it's just it's an insult uh hey what's up Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I mean is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Mm. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay. Red Dead Redemption 2 was definitely a good experience. No, yeah, I've heard that. It just... Oh, I keep forgetting I can uh, hit that thing with the sabotage. I literally was like, what are you shooting at? Finding control. Late. Enter code. I hear a sniper. Oh.
<laughs> Telling y'all it's sabotage. Do, 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 do. Give it. Damn, son. All right. Okay, got that. Okay, so obviously they're mine. Yeah, after I get her on my team, I'm gonna take a minute and, like, literally... should shut down this containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Yep. And bonk. Oh, hi. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Yeah, let's. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Oops. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. You need an escape plan. Joker! Get the Norm of the Airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Okay. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, we're almost there. Uh oh. Oh hey. Well, guess who's getting absolutely fucking overloaded? Brenda, or don't. That would be more fun. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. 
hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Okay. Overload. Warp. Warp. Woo! this part. Got him. Okay, holy sheep shit. Burst Unity Stay, keep your fucking head down, Liara. <laughs> Holy fuck. Let's go. Yara, get your fucking ass out of here. Okay, okay, okay. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes. It's a coping mechanism. You get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. 
You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. Hmm. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Here. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. No came before them. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. 50,000 year cycle? Theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays in the Citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. Okay. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Vision? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly yep. into the mind of the user. Finding Circle of life and death. Extremely rare. <coughs> no wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. Uh, accurate. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. Boy. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren or the conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have Shut the fuck up, Caden. I like Liara. Or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Hey. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. That's fair. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? So. Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liar is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. 
Uh, at least the mission was a success. Yeah. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Thank you, Valern. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Cool. Okay. Oh, first thing first. Interesting. I do want to head back to the Citadel first. But uh and yum. Okay, I don't need that right now. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Uh, okay, I got a decent bit of cash now. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogans lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. Mm. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? Oh. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I see your point. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan's. I won't. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. 
Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Huh. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Uh, down here again? I forgot. Oh, hey. Hey, I actually want to talk to Kelly. They're cool. Oh, hello, Shepard. What's wrong? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing. And your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? Silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old Actually, I'm with Tali. I cannot sleep in silence. Homesick. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them, but maybe they just wanted a different life. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarius in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What? What kind of freedom? It's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Ah. Uh. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected county from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Ah, democratic. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiral's board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. <laughs> to do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admirals. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. Oh. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I should go. See you later. Cool. Alright, I'm debating. Do I... Can you romance Tali as Femship? I'll be honest. In these games, I have never romanced anyone.
Also, oh, Tali is in romance available one. Ah. I wish there was a quick way to uh, go through your squad, like, at this time. You can only romance Tally is now Shepherd on two. Alright. As I recall, like in the second game, can't you uh, romance your personal assistant? A romance one game in romance through the romance or for obvious reasons yeah because i remember i didn't did i it will i'm gonna go with uh these two for now I've got here the pressure with exterior atmosphere log the commanding officer is ashore exo presley has the deck stand by shore party decontamination in progress logged the commanding officer is aboard Exo Presley stands relieved. Caden okay. and Garrus. Equalizing. Yep. Interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Alright, now now that we got everyone leveled up. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. I want to head down and get everyone's equipment in order. All right. Let's head back down here.
I knew working with the Spectre would be better than lying to Cesar. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. C-Sec is very violent. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But C-Sec wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. You felt handcuffed. I started out bad, but as I rose in rank, I got saddled with more and more red tape. C-Sec's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate it. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel. See how things are done outside CSEC. Okay. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds as good. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. No problem. Oh, that's how you do that. Wait, what? Medium armor. Human. Okay. I'll... Rick, Harris. Take these out. I've got some stuff back. I would have ever took that. Okay. Okay. Who do I want to bring? Okay. 
we'll start here. Uh, I'll just go with the damage protection. Because obviously the person who gets my best stuff is... Gonna be uh, Commander Shepard. Damage versus synthetics. And I'll throw the combat sensor in there. I'll give you anti-personnel round for that. Okay. I'm probably going to be bringing Garrus and Tali. Going to be my big combo. Okay. I want you with that really good sniper. With some chem rounds. With more accuracy. Excellent. I want the better accuracy. Give you that. Uh, huh. I will have to check that out later. Holly. Uh, oh yeah. There we go. this one yet. Yeah. 
not. There we go. Got some um, gel. I'm like, oh yeah. Hell yeah. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. What's up? Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. When the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them on our ship and you. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. <laughs> this experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits at element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We He's can full. monitor in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. What up? Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. It's not a warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Yeah. Torians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. The simple fact is, I'm also part of the Council's chain of command now. 
They expect a joint effort. I'm providing one. The Council expects a whole hell of a lot from the Alliance, Commander. They better start giving back real damn soon. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Damn it. None, sir. Very well. Your opinions have some merit, Commander. I'll take them into consideration when I write my report to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Commander Shepard. All right. Damn it. Oh. Damn it. Ah. I want to get my charm up higher. <laughs> oh, Tally has four extra points. Well. And your first. Oh, it's going to say, okay. Guess who's electronics? All right. There we go. And then that. Yeah. And then nothing will be hidden to me. Okay, journal, actually. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Hmm. Commander Shepard? Oh, hey. Kalisa bin Steen and Aljilani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? All right. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? No. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. And I'm going to play through all these Paragons. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. Okay. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Uh. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. Get it yeah. Oh shit! Don't let us down. Thank Come on, you for your time, I don't need Commander Shepard. No problem. I was gonna say, shit, this is really Majima everywhere.
That, okay. Nope. Nope. Put it away. Put it away. On a funny side note, I was actually thinking of doing a, a playthrough of Yakuza 0. Because if you look, it, I technically haven't finished that one or done that one. Oh, shit. Am I going to get shit for this? Well, I'm going to save and find out. Oh, Jesus. Helena Blake. Okay. Good to know. Okay, Julia. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Sorbo, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I heard. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. That's... How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. Are you sure? I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. I'm just a model Wasn't of... Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulation. See. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Okay, cool. Hello, Commander. What's up? I just... Yeah, hard decryption. Oh, okay, I'll take the free XP. Appreciate it. I wonder if you're like a hardcore completionist, like how many little blips of XP you can get. He said near the boards, near the markets. But yeah, I will say having a dev drop by does make you feel almost like it makes me almost feel like a real streamer. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. But is it? There's a lot going on right now. Is there something I can do for you? This will be fast. I just wanted you to know what a big fan I am, and I was wondering if I could get a picture. No. I don't have time for this crap. Go back to whatever hole you crawled out of. So that's how it is? 
the rest of us should just let you reap the f well, you're not the only one who can stand up for humanity. Hey. Achievements. Okay. A reporter. Okay, I'm just going to head down here. Ah, oh, there he is. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're going to tell me everything. You boys can go. Yeah. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Okay. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. <sighs> so you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Oh my god, he's... Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Of course. I'll have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Oh, I thought that was fucking Rex for a sec. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. My history's a matter of public record. I got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the gang? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old time's sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Cora's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. I don't believe you. I just... Hope this isn't like some renegade shit. 
Hey, what's up? Can I help you? A human named Finch wanted me to use my authority as a specter to free Kurt Weisman. The xenophobe? I should have known he'd have friends. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard in his cell. I knew you'd grab it, <laughs> Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. If you want humanity to be strong, a smear attack on the first human specter is a bad idea. The specter is right. This is humanity's chance to prove itself. There's even talk of earning a council seat. Of course you'd side with Shepard. You want someone who's in bed with your kind. Trying to make humanity strong, Finch. Are you gonna stand in my way? Hey. Fine, Shepard. You're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a Spectre. You should have killed him. That's not the way I work. Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of Spectre you turn out to be. <laughs> Hey, that that's what I want. I want the paragon. I always play these games as paragon. Location. Uh, I think I want. See that? I think so. It's here I need to. Oh no. I think I need to go. Up. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. Oh shit. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Okay. Uh, oh. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, Serviceman Bhatia, joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After hmm. finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. Oh yeah, I got it. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. Not the internet. Not the internet. The extranet. And bonk. I need to go to the Presidium. And I think I need to start with the embassies. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, actually, yeah. Save here. All right, I got a couple quests over this way. I can't believe I landed a job here. 
This place is fantastic. Human delighted welcome. It is good to meet you. Thank you. I feel like I can do an Elcor voice. This place seems strange. I wish it were more humans around. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Yes. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime. Yeah. As Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Batya is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses <sighs> against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. <sighs> I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Then explain this to the guy. That's the thing, like, don't be like. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Goddamn I'll right. Smash that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. That's what I thought. Where's Okay, you are about to be either happy or very sad. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the human specter. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nisana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. Didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's Dahlia's dead, Nisana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. Hey. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits, but I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. Hey! They're added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been, it has a, been a business doing, doing business. pleasure with you. Hmm? Oh, sorry. That that. Hey, charm goes up. Because I don't go for intimidation, I go for... What do we need? I okay, just got advanced. Vanguard up by two. And... Go for that. Garrus. First thing first. Okay. Nothing will ever be. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. And Garrus. Just give him overload. And I'm just going to make him even better with the sniper. But yeah, Tali is just absolutely, it's like, oh, what, what's, what is locked to me? Nothing. There we go. Now I head out of here. Where's Where's the financial district? Ah, oh, son of a Uh, hawking our shit in the Hawking Era cluster. Uh, I got some good news for you. Hey, Samesh. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosco what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Yep. Goodbye, Commander. I convinced a friend to install Payday 2 so we pass missions on Death Wish free weapons only. It's going to be a nightmare. I was actually thinking about installing Payday 2. Gotta go to the... Yo, can I join? I'll be honest, I... God. The last time I played Payday 2... Well, on this account. I've never played it on uh, my stream account, to be completely honest. Oh! Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How do you know How me? did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. Mm. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Huh. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their huh. partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter. You, you are, are sketchy as fuck, old lady. Humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. They're as bad as you say they are. They need to be dealt with. 
Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Oh, damn it. I didn't want the renegade. Because I was just going to go back and fucking... Like, uh, this bitch just asked me to straight up murder people. Greetings, Earth Clan. What's up? I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? Thank you. It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. Oh. I, however, wish that, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? Tell me more about your job. Glad no. I also offer premium services for those clients who need I did that. Goodbye, Commander. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta go talk to Jaleed. You like... What the hell is going on? Back to CSEC. I'm just trying to get as many things done as I can. Get a little bit of extra XP. Level up a bit more. You know, all the fun stuff. Yeah, we need to talk. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Kifa. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. What the fuck? I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin. You two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Yeah. Uh, I remember my the my most experience with Payday was uh, Payday One and the over. Uh, what was it? Novera. There. Go to Novaria. Oh, I already did that. Yep. A sorry proto. Uh, I think I want Sidium. Uh, balls. How do I get back to my sh?
Uh, nope. I think it's access. I might be wrong. Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Talk if to you'd it. like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. <laughs> are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. Has anyone actually complained about this Hanar? Not yet, but any good CSEC officer removes problems before they create a public nuisance. You've done your You've job. explained the law. If the Hanar gets in trouble, it has nobody to blame but itself. I suppose I can tell my superior that I attempted a diplomatic solution. Yeah. Some other CSEC officer can arrest the Hanar. It's no longer my problem. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> hey, no problem. The officer has left, and this one is free to share the glory of the Enkindlers. This one offers its appreciation. My pleasure. Happy to help. This one has little money, but it can offer this. Now, finally... This one can continue sharing the truth unimpeded. Let all races herald the glory of the Enkindlers who raised them all to enlightenment. Where there was only darkness, the Enkindlers gave light. All right. Where there was only ignorance, the Enkindlers gave light. All right. I think go down here. Okay, how the fuck do I get back to my ship? In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. <laughs> the production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. <laughs> Thought you had a mechanical arm for a sec. Free XP. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible.
Oh, it's right then. And this should be the market. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yes. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. I legitimately can't remember how the fuck to get back to my ship. God damn it. Was it from the Citadel Tower? And I'm just an absolute... I'm just... Having a complete fucking brain fart? There is a high chance of that. Oh. Oh, actually, cool. Yeah, we need a few extra. No, I'm waiting to speak with Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A uh, Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Gotcha. Hey. Little bit. I think I need to walk out here. And I need to remember to stay on microphone. Or the Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrived, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the genophage upon the Krogan. Oh. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Sterilizing any species is kind of fucked up. Please do not disturb the keepers. That was totally like, oh, kind of like the Daleks. Okay.
Sorry, I just I couldn't fucking find it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm currently out of uh, hydration material. All right, there it is. I'm an idiot. I couldn't find. Choice in armor is awfully limited, Tally. Couldn't you wear something without a helmet? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. Oh, so hey. your people are forever wandering, and now they couldn't settle if they wanted to. I'm sorry. That's why they. Okay, I actually never knew why they constantly had helmets on. Extra few bucks and never. There we go. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, Hold your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. <laughs> so, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I have to go. All right, see ya. Adds to the codex and gives me a bit of XP. Okay. Journal. Alright. Do we do a mission or do we do walking? You know, uh, century system. The hog. Okay, let's do that one. Why not? Message coming in. Patching it through. All right. What's up? Commander Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. Okay. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. Hey. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth fleet out. That's what I was meant to do. Only one. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to skip at the the zoomies. The Alliance needs you again. Hey, what's up? Shepard, Mrs. Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. Major okay. Kyle, your commanding officer, Torfin, has set up a small compound at a Hokieta cluster. He's attracted a number of biotic followers. Ah. 
He's uh, become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. Okay. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. Oh. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. Now get out. I'll go there in a second. Okay. Well, well, there's only one I can go to, so. and Tally. Time for the Mako. Wee. Make sure we could get everything before we had to deal with the biotic compound. We Come on. There we go. I'm trying to, God damn it, I'm trying to Skyrim this shit. Fun. There's got to be a uh, uh. 
There we go. I wanted to go up the silly way. Fine, I'll go up the boring way. Ridge Southwest. Take all of that. Damn. <laughs> that was just fun. Cruising in my Mako. Bunk. Thank you. Oh. I literally like uh pop 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 pop. I know I can salvage this. Thank, thank you.
It's like, hey Kyle, what's up? Hey bud, I'll talk to you in just a second. I want to scan that though. That's a lot of fucking gold. Okay, I'm not running back to the Mako later, so. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. My name is Commander Shepard. Major Kyle knows me. I have to speak to him. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. God damn it. Alright, let me in. I was gonna be like, y'all coming? Alright, let's see if I can solve this diplomatically. Music's fucking creepy. Oh, please do not get it twisted. I will lay all you motherfuckers out. Okay. Sounds like the start of a fucking horror movie. Don't try anything. We're watching you. Yeah, I'm a lot better equipped than you. I will only steal if it turns out these this guy's too far gone and I gotta clip him. I know you, the butcher of Torfan. Why have you come here, Shepard? Why can't you leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. Motherfucker. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. You can still get out of this alive, Major. Surrender and nobody will get hurt. I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must 
face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins, too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Ah. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Pyro up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Well, there. Able to do it without violence because I'm that fucking good. Look at that paragon. Alright, I'm saving because I'm going to steal from them. Hey. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, I was going the right way. I was like, wait a minute. How the fuck do I get out of here? Damn! Oh, we're literally fucking loaded for bear. Okay. Fucking hell, bruh. Alright. Let me get back to my car. How do I do that? How do I inform Admiral Hackett? Message coming in. Ah, there we go. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. Correct. We sent in the team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. What I do? Going to Novera. It's packed. That's kind of. Let me go here first. And. Damn. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shut This is Admiral Koku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham War. Damn, I hope you get this message. 
was a group called Cerberus, an Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago, dropped right off the grid. Oh, shit. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is, this is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Oh. Go to Novaria. I'm just trying, I'm checking for more like scannable shit. I know that, I know scanning planets is uh, much more useful in Mass Effect 2. Control, this is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Ah, wonderful. I'll save. And I've got my team. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. What's up? Give me a scan. You know who I am. Hi, Michael. Michael? That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. The next Navy patrol isn't due for another two weeks. You're a long way from home, Commander. Home is a state of mind. <laughs> also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. And yeah, now. Citadel Authority supersedes you. Let's not start a fight. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. Captain Matsuo, stand down. Thank you. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Shut up, Kyra.
Does synthetics count as these bots or whatever? I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Thank you. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. Yeah. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? <laughs> His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Thank you. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, it might be wise to bring Dr. Tissoni along. She knows her brother better than any of us. Uh... No. And I, I was going to say, if, unless you can quick swap. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. The managers warned us about you. Do you not see the fact I'm, you know, I have enough equipment for a small army? Oh, hey. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. See what you got. This one offers greetings. You are the spectre. Sure, whatever. Of course. This one of Hey. Uh yeah, I'm not buying either of those because holy fuck they're expensive. I need to figure out a way to make some cash. You're the spectre, right? The managers warned us about you, Spectre. Just let me spend except all <laughs> No cookies. What's going on, Akira? Welcome back. Hey, hey. I'll keep my weapons holstered. Well, for me it's just more I have one big weapon. Be a little dangerous. How uh, can I help you? You can. Oh, for fuck's sake! This part of the cookie interaction. How dare! How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please, Mr. Analeas. Yes. What? What? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right. Fine. Come in. All right.
fucked up. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Skadi Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Anomalis isn't the only one with a path to the Atlantean. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. All right. What would you do? Talk no way. And I make to know. We should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Anelaus. Talk to you later. Very well. Okay, that was easy. Hotel bar. Elevator to synthetic insight. Huh. Well. We'll check out what synthetic insight is first. Yep. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone my ego. used to corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's a problems up on peak 15. Synthetics insights were shut down by Analeas. And a matriarch came through. Ah. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. All right. If synthetic insights were shut down, I'm just gonna head straight to the fucking hotel. You'll be happy to know tomorrow's stream should be a bit even longer than today's. Sorry. Excuse me, I need a moment to retire. What's up? The male human at the hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? 
I represent the Aramali City Council on Pethia. Our town is known for its biotic ant crafters. Mm. What's your interest in binary helix? They do genetics well. Much of VH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. Uh. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyright. You will present yourself as a buyer on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement program. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. <laughs> they will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Uh, that's a... You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Ah. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. That's what I fucking thought. The all the Paragon. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. Ah. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Ah. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence I from my office, I will give you a charge pass, as well as a sum of credits. Sounds good. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's I can't hydrate. I am out of hydration currently. And I don't want to get up. He's paying them under the table. They're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access. Hey! Slide it into the drive and it will auto execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? No. Alright. Tell you what, just for that, I will go. Okay, okay, okay shit, shit. I, I've already had like a liter. Jeez, okay, okay, I'll go get water. I'll go get water. Be right back.